Today, I'll be taking you on the journey on how I created a new collection and will be surprising an angel's fiancé for his birthday with the first drop. An angel reached out to me that she needed one of my creations as a gift for a fiancé. Coincidentally, this fiancé is a chef and I was on to create a new product collection, Chef's Days. And so I told her about the plan with the first drop and she was thrilled about it. Then I planned and designed a set of four wooden wear for this drop. To proceed with the execution, I needed to travel back to my master's workshop in Benin to develop my skills. And unfortunately, I did not have a turnout of my own. Reaching them, my skillful master, Mr. Debra, taught me all the skills I needed to know in a short period of time until I could actually turn a ball. After this training, then sourcing and cutting the wood for the design, it was time for turning. Turning these balls were not easy as they required more skills of concentration, patience, and strength. Or else you could miss it. Oops. No worry, nothing happened. After turning these bows to the desired shape and sizes, and after a few excitements and injuries, as per well, first time, it was time for finishing. This was one of my most satisfying part of the stress. I was quite familiar with some finishing techniques, which I studied and researched thanks to Google and YouTube. And I also learned about burnishing with shavings, which I practiced and it gave me excellent results. Finishing requires extra care and patience. So the one of the biggest challenges we Nigerian creatives face is access to certain functional tools and resources because of several reasons personal in the country. I don't know, but this could really affect the Activity, but that's story for another day. But you have to use what you have and create excellently. Want to know how the remaining part turned out? Stay tuned and I'll show you the finishing and surprise reaction. Don't forget to be part of the community because...